Mosaic, a daily news program from Link TV, presents a selection of news reports from independent and state-controlled broadcasters from throughout the Middle East. Welcome. The British Foreign Secretary Jack Straw announced that five out of seven British citizens who were detained by the United States in Guantanamo Bay in Cuba will return to Britain soon. There are nine Britons among more than 600 people who remain in Guantanamo prison and who were among the fighters detained in 2002 in Afghanistan. Two of them will appear in special court in the coming weeks. At the end of the first round of peace talks on reuniting the island of Cyprus, the Turkish Cypriot leader Raouf Dankatash said that considering Greek Cypriot's eminent membership to the EU, they seemed willing to make concessions. Greek Cypriot President Tassos Papandlos and Turkish Cypriot leader Raouf Dankatash conducted a new round of talks for the unification of the island of Cyprus. The Saudi Foreign Minister, Prince Saud Al Faisal, announces opposition, suggesting to hold new Hellenic summit between the West and the Arab world. He was responding to an American plan for reforming the Middle East, saying that he did not know about the plan except from media reports. Al Faisal modeled the plan on the Hellenic Cooperation and Security Agreement in Europe, which Western states signed with the Soviet Union. He indicated that the reforms should not be implemented through force. The Algerian President Abdelaziz Bouteflika and former President Ali Beneflis announced they will run for the presidential elections on April 8th. Bouteflika was criticized for using his presidential position to exploit public finance and restrict the freedom of the press. Bouteflika promised to revive the economy and achieve civil peace. Bouteflika adopted a policy of reconciliation and reform after he won the elections of 1999. The death toll from the train explosion which occurred in Nasabar area in northeastern Iran exceeded 300, and the number of those who were injured exceeded 400. Medical sources predicted that the number of those who were killed may increase as bodies will be pulled out from underneath the rubble. Rescue teams are searching in the large crater that was created by the explosion, which is 125 meters deep and 150 meters wide. The bodies are being identified so they can be handed over to their relatives. The Iranian President Mohammad Khatami warned of the damage of intimidating people on the eve of Iran's parliamentary 